You know, Kelly, in this short attention span webinar, we're going to answer a question that I get quite frequently, uh, and especially lately. Uh, Bill, you know what? I, I'm looking for a new salesperson, and I really don't have the model, the template in my mind as to exactly what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, are, you, are you getting that at all? Are you hearing that at all? I'm I'm, believe me, I'm getting, yeah, I mean, it's one of the, probably the lead things I'm getting engaged for now is, is helping people find, find new sales reps. I, I haven't talked to a printer or a finisher mm -hmm. in the last 18 months that hasn't agonized over this. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I don't know, this is huge. Um, especially when you're talking to somebody who's got an aging sales force and they need to replace mm -hmm. it or they're, you know, they're a 40 inch shop and they just bought some digital and they'll ask, do I need to find someone new to do this. And so right. here are some questions. And I'm going to throw all four of these up up here so we can talk about it. So how would you answer that question? That is, what am I looking for in a sales rep? Yeah, it's a it's really a great question. And I think maybe we can just kind of talk to all of these things at the same time. I mean, yeah. what, what I typically find when I, you know, if I'm engaged with an entire company and I go into work with the whole team, I'm going to be totally honest here. The vast majority of the time, it's almost entirely men. Mm -hmm. And what the owners or the presidents will say is, yeah, I'd love to get a female in here just to balance it out a little bit. And I think that's a great idea. But I also don't think that you specifically want to go into a hiring situation looking for one or the other. It's not realistic. So you are looking for the best possible candidate irregardless of gender. So if the best candidate is a female and you've already got three females, great. If the best candidate's a man and you've got nothing but guys on your team, that's okay too. You're looking for the best and most, not even necessarily most qualified, but the person who is queued up to be the most successful with, within your organization. So mm -hmm. personality type, I don't think there's any question that the person's got to be outgoing. I think the person um, has to be able to demonstrate the ability to, dis to intelligently discuss your products and services. Um, the person's got to be hungry. The person's got to be goal-oriented and motivated by success. Um, what else would you add there to personality type? Uh, you know what? I think what I'm looking for there is somebody, uh, I'll, I'll tie this in with the number four, the greatest skill set, is to say, uh, I want somebody, yeah, outgoing, absolutely. I want a really good listener. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want someone that is doesn't interrupt. I want someone that asks me good questions in the interview. Yeah. And what a what a bonus that is when someone not just hey what does this thing pay and what are the benefits but what are your expectations and what if what are, what are the successful reps doing in this industry and somebody who shows that kind of initiative maybe somebody who walks in and has done some research on your company or your or our industry. Mm -hmm. That's a big part too. Um, let me let me just kind of take this a different direction, Kelly. Uh, how how much of this decision is a gut feeling? Do you think? In oh, the end? so much, so much of it. I mean, there's, mm. it's it's almost all gut because the person, you know, and Bill, I honestly think there's probably 20 short attention span webinars in this in this topic and in, around yeah. this kind of stuff because it is so complicated. Um, but, you know, when you get a more seasoned person, they're going to tell you a bunch of stuff about what they know and what they have in their book of business. But you, you know in your gut whether you think somebody's trustworthy or not. I mean, it's, all, it's about fit. Does this person, is this person going to be happy here? Is this person going to succeed here? Is this person fit in with the rest of my organization? Do I trust this person? Do I like this person? Would I want to sit across this person, across the desk from this person, and have coffee for 30 minutes? You know, those kinds of questions. I mean, if you, if you can't say no to that stuff, then, or you can't say yes to that stuff, I'd think long and hard about it, for right. sure. Right. No, no, no question. Um, I think the other thing is it, it's really going to match, as Kelly says, not just the personality but the territory in mm -hmm. terms of exactly what you're looking for. There's, uh, if you're calling on a lot of, of uh, one type of person, then it's going to take that kind of person to... Um, in a sales rep, you know, Kelly, I heard you say, boy, you definitely want outgoing. And yet there's the other side of that. Maybe you don't want somebody who is that outgoing. Hey, how's it going, pal? You know, that, <laughs> that over the top. You might want something very, someone very stoic, someone that matches the personality type of your target market. Mm -hmm. So uh, part of it is to, to look at the example of what you've got with you so far. Uh, you know, so anyway, there's, Part of the point is here, 
I think you have to begin with the end in mind. The end in mind here is what is my target market and then work backwards from there. Uh, this is a, a very difficult, it's a very difficult process to go through. So much of this is, you know what, that's the, it's like the right house, right? That's the mm -hmm. house, that's the guy, that's the woman, that's what I'm looking for. Well, and we, you talk about age too, you know, there's, there's, there's kind of three distinct kind of areas here. There's, there's, you know, young and green and, and no experience. There's people that are kind of in the middle of their career. And then there's the super seasoned, you know, been around the block for, and been around forever kind of, kind of people. And um, I, I'm always shocked that regardless of, you know, when I'm recruiting for a position and I put ads out there and I get somebody that's been in the business for 40 years who responds to an ad that clearly states I'm looking for somebody entry level, you know, it's, it's interesting that the market is kind of all over the place and you're going to get, you're going to get just a crazy variety of people responding no matter how good your ad is or how bad your ad is. So, you know, even age, I think, isn't something that you should necessarily decide, I want, I want somebody mm -hmm. fresh out of college. You know, I think you have to be very open-minded about this. And as you said, Bill, begin with the end in mind and kind of do that whole Frankenstein thing. If I could build the perfect salesperson and start really thinking about those attributes that matter the most to you. You know, one client told me integrity mattered more than anything. Another client told me that aggressiveness mattered more than anything. So really get honest with yourself about what it is that you're looking for. Well, Kelly, then, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Of these three traits right here, tell me which one is your number one. Personality, the personality you're looking for. Experience, the sales experience you're looking for or technical expertise? Oh, personality. Okay. The other two, the other two are completely learned. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can take a, you can take a 22 year old with good experience and in two years that person could be an absolute dynamo. Again, mm -hmm. that's about investment though. But with, without a doubt, without a doubt, the personality is, um, is by far the most, that's the thing they have to bring to the table. Okay. Very good. Lots on this subject. And we'll find another angle to talk about it, I'm sure, in the future. Kelly, thanks for your thoughts today. Thanks, Bill. And we'll talk to you all on another short attention span webinar.